All right, YouTube. Um, so this video is is a uh, video that I was requested to make um, on my thoughts on Ken Rockwell's recent comments about um, the Sony Alpha full frame cameras, um, and uh, some of them are uh, really out there. And, and and again, you know, he's very opinionated. Uh, he has his own views on things, and that's okay, uh, you know, and that's cool. That doesn't change reality to what it is. Um, I realize that he's a very, very big Nikon uh, fanatic, um, and obviously reviews a lot of Canon gear. Uh, he gets paid to do that. And he also gets paid to make comments like he does, uh, you know. So he claims that he doesn't. He does, you know, because he, he he's always at B and H and at around and doing stuff. Um, so trust me, they, they pay. Uh, I was at B&H um, just, just last week um, and, you know, he, he made a comment like, you know, um, like, like all the A7s, like the A7 II and the A7R2 are like for hobbies and, and, and you know, uh, just, just people just, just want to have some fun with the camera, not really for professionals. Well, when I was at B&H, uh, there was only one person uh, at the, the Nikon counter wanting to even look at anything that Nikon had to offer um, as compared to maybe five at Canon and maybe about 35 at, on the Sony counter, um, all looking to get rid of their Nikon and Canon gear. Um, so, you know, I guess those guys are not professionals. They're just probably a bunch of idiots in New York City, you know, all these photographers, they have no clue to what they're doing, wanting to get rid of their, their Canon and Nikon gear and move to something like this. Um, have I done that? Not all the way. I still have a Canon system, I still have a Sony system, but with my Sony system is not with Sony lenses, it's actually with all legacy glass um, and being able to use Canon glass onto this. As I mentioned before, Canon glass is probably some of the finest glass ever produced um, and the ability for me to be able to use Canon lenses from 50 years ago all the way to what they make today on this body, one body, that is phenomenal. And that is one thing that Canon and Nikon have missed the boat on. Absolutely. Canon abandoned their own FD mount. Um, and uh, some of the FD, FDL glasses, it, 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 the EF glass doesn't even come close when it comes to optics on some of the stuff. And, and then again, some of the new EF stuff is just outstanding. So. You know, all these people out there are making all these kind of comments. Um, why? Because, first of all, they've never spent months and months shooting these to even understand what these cameras are about, what they can produce. Um, I've actually printed uh, 30 by 40 prints out of this camera, um, which is only a 24 megapixel camera. It's stunning clarity. Absolute stunning clarity. Um, right now, what you're watching uh, it's being filmed filmed on a, on just a NEX3N, you know, it's just a cheap camera and, and I bought it just to do these kind of videos for you guys. I don't do high high production videos with all these beautiful graphics and all this stuff. It's, I'm not into video. It's more about getting the message across to you rather than to have fancy videos uh, trying to sway you one way or another. Um, I don't try to, you know, show you 5,000 pictures that have been edited like there's no tomorrow. Um, it, it's just not who I am. So, um, again, I hope uh, you guys feel that, uh, you know, this is important to you guys. If, if you like it, like and subscribe down below. Uh, leave your comments. I'd like to see what you guys feel uh, about, uh, you know, his, his remarks. Um, again, Nikon Canon, great systems. Nothing wrong with them. But, you know, this... Is a, is a very good rival and, and it's very capable of shooting anything professional like like the other other manufacturers produce uh, on the DSLR front. Uh, thanks again. Talk to you soon.